Today on CBS, we have Sam Darnold and the Jets making his home debut against the Madden 17 champion Denver Broncos from MetLife Stadium. Kickoff is next. Both teams stumble out of the gate a little bit in week one. Can the Jets get their first win with Sam Darnold under center? Can Dylan Merway and the Broncos rebound from losing late on Monday night? It's got to CBS. It's a warm one here as the teams are ready in the tunnel. As the Jets are getting ready to come out for their home debut as they face the Denver Broncos this afternoon. The Jets, well, Sam Darnold is a rookie, but turnovers have got to be limited pretty heavily, especially if you want to win against a tough defense, even though it doesn't have coordinator Wade Phillips, this Bronco defense is still tough. Managed to kick, and he will send it deep as takes it in the end zone. As head coach, sorry, quarterback Sam Darnold getting ready to make his home de debut out of USC. First and ten. Play fake. Going deep, and it's caught. Wow. Sam Darnold came swinging on this play. First down to number 81, Kinsey and Niwa. Dan of about 18. That he had Justin Simmons. He's even come to his own, if you will, under this interesting defensive scheme. Front play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. First down and 10. As a run play, and that one got stuck on pretty big. It was Josie Jewell the was there on the stop. So second down and twelve for the G at Shelby Harris is there on the assist as well. Darnold running. He's got Chubb. And Chubb with his first sack. Bradley Chubb, first career sack on the road. Third down and 19. That play was just, was already falling apart before it even began. Watch 55, Bradley Chubb. You think Simmons is going to get him. Oh, nope. Then he's got Gostas behind as well. Almost was like Darnold was going to pump fake. Then here it goes to his right. 
Downy what? And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down, following two negative plays. Third down and 19. As the Jets are back to way thing, things were, as that one was incomplete. It was intended for, I believe it was number 89. Lachlan Edwards, the punter. Emmanuel Sanders, deep. Sanders had that return last year against the Patriots. Duking and stealing some ankles as the Broncos will be starting their drive today from the 36. Look at that. Stop once, twice, and... Took a little bit, but Manuel Sanders will be brought down at the 36. Sorry, right there. Stealing ankles. First down and 10 is Dylan Murway and the Denver Broncos get ready to take the field for their first drive. 36 now, first and 10. In a I formation, Janovich in at fullback. Touch pass, and it's caught. Lindsey taking ankles, and he's got the first down. Smart play there by the Broncos. And how about this? Murway stealing ankles. Gain of about nine that time. You know he would, he is mo incredibly mobile. So that's what the Jets are going to have to watch out for today is stopping that man's speed. Yeah, the Jets defense, if they can't – Cover. They're going to be in for a long day this afternoon against the Denver Broncos offense. Murway hands off to Lindsey. Lindsey stop umbles and moves forward with his first rush of the afternoon. Murway hand off again to Lindsey, and that one went nowhere. Lindsay just ran into a stone wall right there. As we're going to take a look at the Denver Broncos offense today, we'll be highlighting the Mr. Undrafted, Philip Lindsay. He's carrying a lot of legacy when he puts on that number 30 jersey to, to when he came to the Denver Broncos. Nothing other than Hall of Fame running back, Terrell Davis. Made that number great. Murway underneath again this time. Emmanuel Sanders gets the first. That's a first down today. End zone caught by Sanders. Great play. Three straight catches. Three straight receptions, complete receptions, as Emmanuel Sanders has two receptions and 33 yards on the afternoon. I can't even tell if Jets are playing zone or playing off the ball. That's a 20-yard gain. Let 
Merway. Hand off to Lindsay, all the way to the right side. Touchdown, Broncos. Amazing football ability right there. Just stretch the defense, leave it down to the one def one edge rush to try to stop them. How about it? He may be a small guy, undersized, coming out of CU, but that doesn't mean he will make you pay on a run. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. McManus for the point after. That is 6 2 7. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. So Broncos up early, seven to nothing. McManus with another perfect kick. He's going to send it all the way deep for Matthews. Tried to feel it in the end zone, but he will walk out for the touchback. Here's the Jet offense. Now they head out to take over and hoping to do better than they did in their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your feet. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Darnold going to leave the Jets up. Is the Isaac, Sam Darnold going for a weak eye formation. And that one gets stuffed again. This time by Josie Jewell, who's been, who's recorded his second stop of the day. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second. Already, this is not what the Jets wanted to see. Here we go now. Three, three. Here's Jonathan on second down. Going deep, and it's caught. First down, Jets. That would be Todd Davis that was there on the stop. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Going deep. First and 10. Going deep and it's caught again. Inside the 45. Another semi-decent game when Sam Darnold's been making those passes. He's been sort of make. He's been getting first downs. So that's a smart play there. So first down and ten again. First and ten now in Denver territory. At the 44-yard line. Okay, plug the run, and that's Isaiah Crowell finally getting into positive rush yards today for the first time. One quarter in the books as early on the Broncos have an early lead capped by this touchdown by Philip Lindsay. CBS's coverage of the NFL on CBS is brought to you by Snickers. 
Three You're not you when teams. you're hungry. Jackson Snickers satisfies. Corner number two here. They've got it second and four to start things out. So, second down and four. I haven't seen a lot of Von Miller today on defense. Another dig as Isaiah Crowell gets nine. Sorry, five on the play. That's all he needed. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays. I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. Here we go. Blue Blue Another first down. Chubb across the field, too. Another first down for the Jets. At the, is the Jets for the first time have cracked the uh, cracked real estate? As Josie, this time it is Mager, number 49. Oh, they're a little chippy there. Chris Mager. Second down and 14 for the Jets. So, second down, 14. I haven't seen Von Miller much today. Going deep, and it's caught by Anderson for the first time today. Gain of three on the play. As he, that was Roddy Anderson jumping up, and that would be Chris Harrison, Mataka Pecco. They're on the stop. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Watch this. And he's playing off incomplete. That would be tended for Ronnie Anderson. And Josie Jewell was there on the coverage along with Darian Stewart. As they're going to go for the field goal. Oh, it's blocked. Look at this. A smart play. Watch this. As Myers is going for the kick. Josh McCown is the place kicker. Mager comes across. Look at that. Came up. Goodbye. How about this? So the Broncos will take over at the thirty at their own thirty one after that block kick. Lindsay juking left, right, another rush. Look out, Philip Lindsay, the undrafted kid, touchdown. 69 yards. Goodbye. He didn't even do much of anything. The Broncos offensive line just cut the hole, took some, and all Phil Lindsay needed to do is take some ankles. That that great play by Philip Lindsay. Yeah, keep in mind that was maybe only supposed to go for five or six yards. Philip Lindsay said, "I'm going to take this." 
as the Broncos are up by two scores. I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. Scored is right. I don't even think the Broncos, the Jets even saw him. Even if they did, they fell asleep. As Brandon McManus will kick off. Send it deep for another touchback. Leg of leg of power by uh, Brandon McManus. Every kick he's done in these first two games of the year have just been wow. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. Probably going to stay with it. Probably going to abandon it just yet. coverage, they're starting with a tight end over here. First and 10. And that would be, wow. That was a, Isaiah Crowell, though, he can't literally pushed Derek Wolf four yards after the first contact with the ball. Von Miller and Dick Adam Gosses, I'm sorry. That was Derek Wolf. They operate from the 32 yard line here, second and three. Update from our other studios over. Update from Indy, Gus Johnson and Steve Berline called that calling Colts and Cardinals from Lucas Oil Stadium. As the Colts currently are shutting out the Cardinals compared to what they are doing week one, what the Cards were doing week one against the Patriots. So. It's like the Broncos are going nickel. We'll get you back to any updates from it. From uh, the studios here at halftime. Cardinals currently are down by 10 to the Colts. Colts are up 10 nothing. Keep in mind later today, if you want more coverage on Fox, you can tune in at 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Pacific for Chiefs and Seahawks. And if you want primetime football on NBC, you can get Saints and Steelers at 8.30 on NBC and Monday Night Football. The Patriots will have their first home opener, which is a rematch of Super Bowl 36. Sorry, 38. And that is between Carolina Panthers and the New England Patriots. Back here at MetLife, Bradley Chubb just scored his second sack of the game. He's no, I don't think anybody's covered him. And with the way the schedule reads, the Jets could very easily start out of this gate 0 4. They got the Chiefs next, on Monday night next week. They got the Texans in London. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Two minutes to play here in the and it's going to be kind of iffy to see when the Jets will eat, will get their first win under Sam Darnold because they got some tough opponents. They lost 27-10 to Pittsburgh week one. They're down 14-0 to the Broncos here. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Realistically, they could be going one in – Could be basically heading full send into the tank right here. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Work is right. (laughs) 
as wow, Brandon Powell gained about four on the play. Sam Darnold going to no huddle. And Chubb jumps and records his third sack of the game. Bradley Chubb showing up to the party today. Wow. I can't even tell if that was... They were probably trying to... I don't even know what they were doing. As it is touched down at the 33 by the Jets. Nick Cannon. So the Broncos coming out now. And the Denver Broncos, though, their defense has got to be loving quarterback Dylan Murway because of this. One play, and then the Broncos' defense comes back out, and then you got Bradley Chubbs, who, Chubb, who's having himself one heck of a game with three sacks in this quarter, or in this half. Murway rolls to his right, fires, touch pass, and it's caught almost. Almost caught there by Jake Butt as it was fumbled around between two Jet defenders and Emmanuel Sanders as well. How about this? First down and 10. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Let's go. 3 Underneath dot, and that's incomplete. Trying to go for the underneath route to Philip Lindsay. Incomplete. Third down and 10. So far, the Broncos offense breakdown presented by Amazon Alexa. The Broncos have been 50-50 on run and pass play calling. Third down, and he's got it. Oh, he dropped it. Well, he almost dropped on a rat in the basket. And hey, it's been a while since we saw Mr. Cody Wadman be our punter. He's going to kick. We got a lot of backspin on this one. As this bounces to the 17. And if you're, you're Sam Darnold, you got to take big shots. And Bradley Chubb has terrorized him. He definitely have been pretty good on completions for the most part. However, he's been getting assaulted. Going for the under route. And Darian Stewart with a completion for a gain of... With the stop, it was a game of nothing. As the Jets will call a timeout. So the offensive unit called the TO. So that's a timeout there. Second down and ten. So it's second and ten. Darnold jumps. Throws to nobody. Incomplete. That would be Chris Harris Jr. that was there on sort of on the deflection. Third down and ten. And so far, player of the game or the half. So far, that is uh Bradley Chubb, and that 
moves nowhere. Isaiah Crowell came of nine. However, Bradley Roby came on the stop. So, while well, that goes on. Fourth down and one, 17 seconds. Kind of surprised that they didn't go for it. I'd say you probably should consider uh, hazard pay for the punter as Emmanuel Sanders gets uh, returned to the 44. And that will be the half as we look at halftime highlights. How about Phil Lindsay just stealing ankles of that one corner right there? As we'll take you back out to the MetLife Stadium. What a play there. First down and ten. Getting ready for kickoff. Jacoby Myers will kick it deep. As Emmanuel Sanders runs out to the 25, and that will be a touchback. Emmanuel Sanders, 24 yards per pretty much every return today. Yeah, if they put do put it away, it'll uh, basically be this game is over and Vance Joseph could get his first win as head coach today. Hand off to Lindsey. Trying to stumble around, and that's another first down. He's had two touchdowns today. Philip Lindsay's been pretty good on the road, just mowing down defenses. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down and 10 from the 36 yard line. Murway, first and 10 again. And it's sacked. Gene Martin. Number 95. It's a loss of eight that time. And you get a sack start of second half of the second half. Look at this. Murway, he can run. Merway can run right here. Pitch. Oh, ball's out. I don't even think Lindsey was there on, on that. That play didn't even work out to anybody's standards, I believe. Throwing deep, and it's caught. Jake Butt with the cover, with the catch. 27 yard play. Going deep, and he's got Sanders. And what tackling is that? Touchdown, Broncos. 40 yards for Emmanuel Sanders, and the Broncos continue to open their lead. Efficient, whatever you want to call it. But surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling the Broncos have just been slowly but surely. You also drain clock too in a drive like that. Just you really give yourself not a deadly efficient right here. 
Crossing the field up. And, man, if you're the Jets defensive coordinator, you got to have some serious words about your defense because three straight plays, ending in touchdowns, and the Broncos only having to pump once. So first down is see Brandon McManus. He's been getting a lot of work on kickoffs because of this offense. Getting ready to kick this one off. As it'll go through the end zone for a touchback. Another touchback. That's the joy of kicking pretty much playing pretty much half your games. At Sea level, above sea level, my city. And between the two, I think the Broncos coming home to play the, play the Saints on CBS next week. And look at this. It's caught in a huge gain and all the way to 27. How about that? 48 yards for the Jets. Really odd but to see Van Joseph not use Von Miller. As Howell is stopped again, this time by Derek Wolf. No gain on that run. And while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have oh. to think about different Second out and ten. In order to get this guy going. And Bradley Chubb off the edge. Amazing play. Man, Bradley Chubb has just been all over. Three sacks. Four tackles. Give that man the player, the Hooters player of the game right here. Have to take that man to Hooters because he deserves it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Third down and 12. And wow, Justin Simmons comes across with the SWAT. Fourth down and 12. It's just not your day. There was another failure right there on third down. How about this? Great play. This Bronco defense, they may not have Wade Phillips as the D coordinator that got him those two men round robin titles. Those Madden tournament titles, but so out comes a field goal team seems like it. Time here today. He had his lone attempt blocked earlier. Jacoby Myers was blocked earlier. And he's going to try. Oh, almost had that. As Jacoby Myers knocks it through for three points. Watch this. So the Jets finally realize they have an offense coming down to Jacoby Myers' right foot. Look at this. Sanders tried getting some, a little bit of a return there. And coming out now, the Broncos. And for them, a 
is wow. The Broncos have just been pretty much laser perfect the entire the entire game. Laser perfection is amazing. When you got an offense and a quarterback that can do it all, he can run. He can run pretty far too. Borderline Michael Vick. And he can have an amazing arm. Just like this. Jake Butt with a huge catch. 38 yards. That is Jake Butt's second reception. Deep ball. Caught again. Touchdown Broncos. 34 yards. Another touchdown by the Broncos over Jamal Adams. The only reason the Jets' defense is worth something nowadays. Somehow, Dylan Murray is just, wow, kicking back, basically. Two plays, and they were all big plays to number 80, the big tight end, Jake Butt. I just know my, I just know some little kid in the audience is like, hey, hey, kiss my Jake butt. Brandon McManus is going to kick off. Now McManus on to kick and off. he's going to send it deep. Touchback yet again. As Sam Darnold has just been assaulted. Blal Powell, five rushes, no yards, no touchdowns. He's just been assaulted today. Him, doesn't matter who, it could be. Could be either him or Bradley Chubb, just been getting frontally assaulted. Jossie Jewell, or sorry, Joey Jewell. Will uh, record his first stop of the day. Throwing deep again, picked off by Justin Simmons. Diving pick. A huge return by Justin Simmons and the Broncos. And the Broncos will take over at the 24. Wow. Wow. There's a reason he's one of the more underrated safeties in this league because he can come up and make amazing plays like this and allow him to get insurance on the run back. Dylan Murray, though, he's just been have, get that man a new contract. Honestly. Murray going for Sutton. Incomplete. Yeah, it was getting physical there. He was trying to go for the cross route across the field. Just got tipped away. Second down and ten. And 
T Lindsay taking ankles. And that's a gain of five on the play. They're down in five. See what the Jets do. Can they at least try something to hold the Broncos? No, look at this. Murway all the way to the left side. And he is down at the one. First and goal from the one-yard line. And Todd Bowles is not happy. Murway drops Lindsay touchdown. Another touchdown, just racking up those points. Thirty-four to three. As the Jets are just getting assaulted on defense. He's the reason that they leave right now. No question about it. He had five Jets on him, and Phil Lindsay still scores. How about that? Now McManus for the extra. Great for the point after try, and the kick is good. Extra point from McManus is good. And Dylan Murway has been amazing today. A drive there of just four plays. So had one slight miscommunication with the early pass early in the quarter. But other than that. Perfection for the Broncos. As McManus will kick off. And that will send this one all the way deep. And with 25, with 20 seconds left, the New York Jets just got to... Wow. This game has just been a nightmare for the New York Jets, and what a way for the Broncos to return to form after losing a late, a close game late to the Seattle Seahawks on Monday night in Denver. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers, they probably need to do it. Find someone. As he goes deep, it's caught. One touchdown. And that'd be a great way to start the drive. Roddy or Jameson Crowder and Brady nine. As sorry, it's Herndon the fifth. Not related to Kelly Herndon, former safety on the Broncos. Third quarter has ended, and I think the Jets are fi Broncos are firing up the party bus. That's a highlight of this offense. Back here in Denver, good God. This game has been one-sided pretty much since kickoff, a little after 2 o'clock Eastern. The Jets have just been getting tortured today against this defense. Darnold to the left, and it's a jump ball across his body, and just getting tripped, and whoa, Roddy Anderson just got thrown to the deck. Isaiah Crowell for the first down. That was a little interesting there. Darnold deep, incomplete. It was Bradley Roby that was there on the coverage ahead of uh, number 81, Prince Inouye. 
they just really have to So, second down and ten. Wolf going deep, playing the ball in the blitz. And that's another first down for the Jets as they continue to ease on down the road. So, first down and 10 from the 23-yard line. Uh, line. As Sam Darnold, the Jets, so far they've been somewhat efficient. And it's caught. And Roddy Anderson with a completion. Nice slant by the by Roddy Anderson. See what Sam Darnold does with this. Play fake. Four guys on the blitz. Incomplete. Sam Darnold just got killed back there. Four Broncos were after him. Huge blitz on the play. Incomplete. Second down and ten. Pecco deep, incomplete. Wow. Third and ten. You're in red zone territory. As Wow, another five-yard completion under the defense there. Fourth down and six. Kinsey Niwa there on the, the catch. Jason Myers. He had an early blocked kick by Mager. He tried jumping it again, but that's another three points for Jason Myers. And the lead gets narrowed by 29 points. That's, I think, what the Broncos are. Whoa. What the? See, the Broncos getting into onside formation. See what the Jake Mason Myers will do. He's going to kick it. And the Broncos got it. Brandon Marshall with the recovery. Couldn't land the kick. So, there you go. Dylan Burway today, 8 for 12, 190 yards, two touchdowns, three rushing touchdowns on the ground from number 30, Mr. Lindsey. And compared to how small he is, in fact, all it's like him and Janovich are the same height. It's really hard for this defense to apparently break the tackle of Philip Lindsay, who's already had three touchdowns. What a way to come into his own. Next week, he's going to have to do, come in pretty big against a tough run defense in the New Orleans Saints. They will play a Sunday night against Pittsburgh. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind that they also stop the clock at the two minute warning. Lindsay, another run incomplete. 
goes on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third so far. The Broncos third down, one for three. Lindsay tried to force it again. And it's a gain of about two. Vance Joseph is really taking a page out of Mike Shanahan's book, and it's going to work. Nobody gets to Philip Lindsay. And how about this? All the way inside the 15 yard line, 21 yards. First down for the Broncos, Philip Lindsay. He's looking for. <laughs> he wants to make his mark in the NFL. Next week, he gets to play in front of his home crowd. Hopefully, he can get things moving again. In terms of putting on an epic performance like he has here against the New York Jets. So first down and 10 for the Denver Broncos. And to say they've had one heck of a game, it's an understatement. The Jets have just been gouged for almost 200 yards in the air. Lindsey cutting back. One, breaking ankles, continuing to pad his stats. And that'll be second down and five. There are rumors that next play they are playing to put in Case Keenum because Dylan Roy has worked his tail off against this team. Murway going to the air. And it's caught by fullback Janovich. Fourth down and five. It's really just going to be pointless unless they want to try to pin the Jets as deep as they can. It's going to be a little chippy, I believe. These Jets are going to have a tough few weeks to start the season. So, first down and 10. And that ball pass was broken up there by uh, Denver, who's allowed only 40 rushing yards. So. Yeah, it seems like everything's falling apart. Probably didn't help that Bradley Chubb single-handedly been bringing a lot of pressure as kind of odd to see the Jets run it with 59 seconds left, down by 29. So the offense took the time out. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to so resume the action. The Jets on third down. It's third down and eight. The Jets have not converted. At least they Broncos have been better than them in that regard. Chubb looking, playing the ball incomplete. Fourth down, 54 seconds. They're going to punt it now. 
really surprised that they're basically just waving the white flag. As Sanders waves for the fair catch. So as you look at the Broncos offense, Dylan Murray's only had four incompletions. As looks like they got Royce Freeman on the field now. And that'd be Royce Freeman with his first rush of the game. As the time continues to run out. Time continues to tick. And that will be it. The Broncos and Vance Joseph will get their first win together as Denver Broncos coach Vance Joseph will get his first win as a coach as the Jets well they fall to 0-2 again if you want to watch more NFL football here on over, go over to Fox to watch America's Game of the Week between Kansas City and Seattle. And then if you want primetime football son, tonight on NBC, at 8.30 we will have Steelers and Saints from the Superdome. And all I can say is, wow. So long, everybody. So long from MetLife Stadium. Final score, Broncos 35, New York Jets 6. And to say they went off in the third quarter is an understatement. So as you look at some player stats, let's look on defense. And, yeah, defensive sacks, plays, for the Broncos. How about this? Bradley Chubb, four solo tackles, one assist, one tackle for loss, three sacks. Bradley Chubb and just Josie Jewell. They've had they had themselves some days. Brandon Marshall. Reporting some stats, Bradley Roby, two solo tackles. So you see Bradley Roby and Derek Wolf with three. Josie Jewell and Bradley Chubb with five tackles. Craig Major with one. And the block kick, obviously. Brandon Marshall, two tackles. Darian Stewart with three. Donata Pecco with two. Todd Davis with one tackle. Tremaine Brock with two. Adam Gostas, Vaughn Miller, Chris Harris with one tackle apiece. Justin Simmons with two tackles and obviously the one pick. And Shelby Harris with one tackle as well. So next week for these teams, the Jets will have a home game Monday night against the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Denver Broncos will be on the road against the New Orleans Saints. That will be seen on CBS. So long from MetLife.